Eli was a significant figure in the history of ancient Israel, serving as high priest and judge for forty years during a tumultuous period. According to the accounts found in the books of 1 Samuel, Eli's life and service provide valuable lessons about faithfulness, parental responsibility, and the consequences of disregarding divine standards. Eli resided in Shiloh, where the Tabernacle of Jehovah was located. As high priest, he was responsible for the spiritual leadership of the nation and the proper conduct of worship. Eli also acted as a judge, settling disputes and guiding the people in adherence to God's laws. His dual role placed him in a position of great influence and responsibility. One of the most notable events in Eli's life was his interaction with Hannah, the mother of Samuel. Hannah was deeply distressed due to her inability to conceive a child. She visited the tabernacle to pray fervently to Jehovah, silently pouring out her heart. Observing her, Eli initially misunderstood her silent prayers for drunkenness. Upon realizing his mistake, he blessed her, saying, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant your petition that you have asked of him. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 17. Hannah's subsequent conception and the birth of Samuel were seen as a direct answer to this blessing. Eli played a crucial role in Samuel's early life. Dedicated to Jehovah by his mother, Samuel was placed under Eli's care in the tabernacle. Eli mentored the young Samuel, teaching him about service to God. This period was significant, as it was during this time that Jehovah called out to Samuel, revealing the divine judgment that would befall Eli's household. A central aspect of Eli's story revolves around his two sons, Hophni and Phinehas. Despite their positions as priests, they were corrupt and acted wickedly. They exploited their priestly roles for personal gain, showing contempt for the sacrificial offerings and engaging in immoral conduct with the women serving at the entrance of the tent of meeting. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verses 12 to 17, 22. Their actions were not only a violation of God's laws but also a cause of stumbling for the people of Israel. Eli was aware of his son's misconduct but failed to take decisive action to correct them. He admonished them verbally, saying, Why do you do such things? For I hear of your evil dealings from all the people, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 23. However, his reproof lacked firmness and did not lead to any meaningful change. This leniency was viewed as a serious failing on Eli's part, as he prioritized his sons over the honor of Jehovah. Jehovah sent a prophet to Eli with a message of impending judgment. The prophecy declared that Eli's household would suffer because of the iniquities he knew about but did not restrain. It stated that his descendants would not continue in the priestly office, and both his sons would die on the same day as a sign of fulfillment. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verses 27 to 36. This message underscored the seriousness with which Jehovah viewed the sanctity of worship and the responsibility of those in leadership. The foretold judgment came to pass during a battle between Israel and the Philistines. The Israelites, suffering defeat, decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant from Shiloh to the battlefield, hoping it would ensure victory. Hophni and Phinehas accompanied the Ark, but the Philistines defeated Israel again, killing both sons and capturing the Ark. 1 Samuel chapter 4 verses 10 to 11. This loss was devastating, symbolizing the departure of God's favor from Israel. When news of the defeat and the capture of the ark reached Eli, he was deeply shaken. Sitting by the roadside, anxiously awaiting news, a messenger relayed the tragic events. Upon hearing that the ark of God had been captured, Eli fell backward from his seat, broke his neck, and died at the age of 98. 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse 18. His death marked the end of his judgeship and highlighted the fulfillment of Jehovah's prophetic judgment. Eli's legacy is a complex one. On the one hand, he served Jehovah for many years and played a pivotal role in nurturing Samuel, who would become a significant prophet and leader in Israel. On the other hand, his failure to discipline his sons and uphold the sanctity of the priesthood brought severe consequences. The account of Eli serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of faithful stewardship and the serious responsibility that comes with spiritual leadership. From the perspective of Jehovah's Witnesses, Eli's story emphasizes the need for personal responsibility in upholding Jehovah's standards. It highlights that mere association with sacred service is not enough, active compliance and respect for God's laws are essential. Additionally, it underscores the importance of parental discipline and the need to correct wrongdoing decisively to prevent dishonor to God's name.
Eli's interactions with Hannah and Samuel also illustrate the impact that faithful individuals can have on others. Despite his shortcomings, Eli's mentorship of Samuel contributed to the development of a man who would faithfully serve Jehovah and lead Israel back to proper worship. In conclusion, Eli's life offers valuable lessons about faithfulness, responsibility, and the consequences of negligence in spiritual matters. His story, as understood by Jehovah's Witnesses and detailed on JW.org, serves as an example for believers to remain vigilant in their service to God, to uphold divine standards without compromise, and to recognize the profound impact their actions can have on both their families and their communities. Please like and subscribe.